my dear change agents in this module we will learn about krishi vigyan kendra that is farm science center i would like to call this institution as an innovative district level institution in agricultural extension if you look at the genesis of kvk krishi vigyan kendra based on the recommendation of the education commission in the year 1964 66 then discussion by the planning commission and inter ministerial committee and then further recommendation by the committee headed by dr mohan singh mehta appointed by icr in 1973 the idea of establishment of farm science center was developed the first kvk on a pilot basis was established in the year 1974 at pondicherry now it is puducherry under the administrative control of the tamil nadu agricultural university coimbatore icr has established after this uh, kvks in all the rural districts of india in a phased manner it is really noteworthy that this is a, this has been a planned scheme nurtured by icr for four decades since fourth five year plan if we look at the distribution of kvks as of march 2014 There are about 637 KVKs located in eight zones. There are eight zones in the country, and each zone has got different number of KVKs. Now, uh, regarding structure of KVK, in every KVK, a total number of 16 technical and non-technical staff are provided, and each KVK is headed by one program coordinator. In addition to program coordinator. there will be six subject matter specialists and these specialists will be representing the disciplines of crop production that means uh, agronomy or soil science then agricultural extension horticulture plant protection pathology or entomology animal sciences home science and agricultural engineering in addition to these subject matter specialists three training assistant cadre persons are also working they are one farm manager and one program assistant computers and one program assistant now let us uh, just uh, have a glance at the mandate of kvk very simple mandate but very powerful mandate it is technology assessment refinement and demonstration of technology and products here i would like to just uh, uh, say that uh, kvk is not a tot center it is as per the mandate uh, it has to go for technology assessment refinement and demonstration of technology or products now <clears throat> what are all the various activities of kvk at a glance in order to achieve these mandates all these uh, activities are related to the mandates number one is on farm testing oft we normally call then second one is front line demonstrations and third one is training the farmers and also extension personnel and fourth one is vocational trainings to rural youth fifth one is kvk serves as a resource and knowledge center of agriculture technology and also in addition to these things there are so many other extension activities also being conducted and then production and supply of seeds and planting materials that is also one of the activities now let us see one by one first of all on farm testing <coughs> Uh, we have already seen in the mandate that the mandate is technology assessment and refinement and that is being achieved through what is called this on farm testing an on farm trial of a kvk aims to test a new technology or variety or an idea in the farmers field under farmers conditions and management by using farmers own practice as control that means we will be testing two or three options and the control will be farmers own practice then some other new technology will be just testing and also try to refine it this oft in fact helps to assess and refine technologies that are suited to local conditions now let us see the front line demonstrations here the proven new varieties or technologies which have been released or developed by various research systems and the technologies assessed through oft's also they are demonstrated in the farmers field with the participation of extension officials local leaders progressive farmers and other stakeholders in order to promote large scale adoption 
Next activity is training to the farmers. KVKs are also organizing uh, various training programs for the benefit of the farmers, training to farmers, farm women and rural youth. And in fact, need based trainings on agriculture and also allied technologies covering all other enterprises, animal husbandry, sericulture, all other allied enterprises also need based trainings are organized. Then vocational trainings are also organized by the KVKs. Then another interesting feature is uh, it is not mere uh, giving knowledge and skill. Many times the KVKs they are also organizing entrepreneurial oriented training programs and they make follow up uh, that uh, the people who are trained in this particular aspect technology they become entrepreneurs. Then the trainings are conducted both on the campus and also off campus. Coming to the training of extension personnel not only training uh, extension officials, NGO personnel are also trained here. Here training on latest technologies and newer areas to update the knowledge and skills of the extension officials and also uh, NGO personnel are being conducted. Then this is a very important aspect. The KVK actually at the district level, it serves as a resource and knowledge center of agriculture technology. How? Through consolidation of results obtained from all the OFTs on farm testings and also these uh, FLDs frontline demonstrations and developing all these things as a knowledge for further dissemination. Besides scouting of knowledge and agricultural technologies from various research institutes, this national agricultural research system and even private research institutions and converting all these technologies as district specific technologies. Like this, Technical backstopping to the public extension system is being done as the KVK serves as a resource and knowledge center of agriculture technology. So besides all these activities, there are plenty of other extension activities are also conducted by the KVKs. For example, uh, each KVK uh, uh, has got some uh, demonstration units by establishment of our demonstration units, uh, it serves as a ground for uh, training all the visiting farmers, visiting extension personnel and uh, others also. Then KVKs are also going for uh, establishment of model farms, especially integrated farming system models. Now that is being done in a big way these days. That also serves as uh, one of the extension activity for the benefit of the visiting farmers. Then KVKs are also having a crop cafeteria. What are the various crops that can be grown in that particular district uh, that is being uh, conducted? Then uh, KVK has got a soil and water testing laboratories and also plant diagnostic laboratories also through which also farmers are just uh, benefited. Then KVKs many times you know they organize exhibitions in uh, consultation in cooperation with uh, other department uh, officials uh, where is uh, exhibitions are conducted uh, periodically. In order to cater the needs of the farmers, uh, what kind of uh, new technology they should uh, uh, possess, uh, seminars and awareness workshops are also conducted uh, by KVKs. Then technology week celebration that is also conducted, then farmers melas they are also conducted. Publication of district specific technologies also through mass media in, in the form of uh, pamphlets, booklets, giving radio programs. TV programs like that. Another uh, most important uh, function of uh, KVK is uh, every KVK has been given a revolving fund and through that uh, production and supply of seeds and planting materials to the farmers that is being done. Production of this quality seeds and planting materials through public private partnership mode is also being done by the KVKs. Then this production of uh, quality agriculture inputs namely biocontrol agents, vermicompost and micronutrients are also done by KVKs. Now coming to the management of KVK, every KVK has got one scientific advisory committee consisting of farmers, extension functionaries, bankers, scientists and like that. And this advisory committee, scientific advisory committee is the, an advisory body to plan and review the activities of the KVKs. And this SEAC will meet twice in a year to plan and also evaluate the KVK activities that were carried out in the previous year. Now let us see the uh, linkage mechanism that is how KVK is related to different organizations, different institutions. As you could see here, KVK is closely related to the public extension system that is available in the districts, then also NGOs, 
then credit institutions, the DRDA, even social welfare also. Then research institutes and other organizations that may be government organizations or private organization. Like this, KVK in fact uh, works in close collaboration with all such agencies for the benefit of the farming community. What I would like to impress upon all the change agencies, uh, you have a lot of role to play for uh, the effective functioning of KVKs. For instance, you can just give some uh, input to the KVK program coordinator and subject matter specialists uh, as to what are all the technologies that need to be refined to suit the local condition. This information you can give. And second one is you can just uh, identify some beneficiaries where the KVK scientists can come and uh, make some FLDs or uh, this YFTs. And what are the new varieties or technologies that need to be demonstrated to the people, to the farmers very fast that you can just uh, give uh, that information to the KVK. And in collaboration with the KVK scientists, you can also organize all these programs uh, in farmers field for the betterment of the farm community. So, my dear friends, I think KVKs are a very important institution and such a big network of KVKs throughout the country, we should make use of these KVKs for the utmost benefit of the farming community. Thank you very much.